Hi, in this problem we have to find the solution of the differential equation dy dx equals negative 2xy over 1 plus y that has the property that y is 1 when x is 2. Okay, let's go ahead and try to work through this solution. So I'm going to start by writing down the differential equation again down here. This is dy dx equals negative 2xy over 1 plus y. And this appears to be a separable differential equation, meaning that um, we can separate it. We could separate the variables. We can write all of the y's together with the dy on one side and all of the x's together with the dx on the other side. So to do that, I'm just going to um, multiply by dx. Okay, so, and then going to um, basically multiply by the reciprocal of this. So this is gonna come over here on the left and it's gonna look like this, one plus y over y dy. So again, just multiplying by, as I'll show it, one plus y over y and then one plus y over y. So you see it's a little bit easier if I write it so you see it, you see now these goes away. Then we have this over here and then multiply by the dx. Uh, I, should, I, should be, I should have a dy there, that's a little typo. Let me go ahead and clean that up, sorry. So this should be dy, right? Because I'm multiplying by this. Show you again. Okay. And then multiply by dx. This will be negative 2x dx. So the dx comes over here as well. So I multiply by dx. dx cancels. It comes over here. And then just get rid of this here. And this comes over here. Okay. And now we just have to integrate both sides. So integrate, integrate. We can break this up. This is one over y plus y over y. So it's one over y plus, and then y over y is one. And then we have our dy here. And this is equal to the integral of negative two x dx. Pretty easy to integrate this. Uh, one over y gives us the natural log of the absolute value of y. Integrate one, we get uh, y. Over here, we use the power rule. There's a one here, so this is negative 2x squared over two, plus our constant of integration, which I'll call c. So this is ln absolute value of y plus y equals negative x squared plus c. All right, so now we have to use our condition. It says that uh, y is one when x is two. So y is one when x is two. So we have to impose our condition. So basically now we're gonna put a one everywhere we see a y and a two everywhere we see an x. And we're gonna solve this uh, for c. So putting a one here, we get the natural log of the absolute value of one plus one equals negative two squared plus c. The natural log of one is zero. So you get zero plus one equals negative four plus C. And then just um, add four to both sides. So C is equal to five, right? So plus four plus four. So now we're gonna go back here and place C with five. So this is going to be uh, ln absolute value of Y plus Y equals negative X squared plus five. And that would be the solution to um, this problem. So kind of a fun, uh, solution. Now, um, these are not all the solutions. Okay, these are not all the solutions. There is another solution. Um, notice that when we divided um, by y, because we multiplied by this, we basically divided by y when, when we multiplied by 1 plus y over y, uh, we excluded 0. But um, y equals 0 is a solution. Notice that if y is 0, this is whole thing is 0, and then the derivative is 0. So y equals zero is a solution. It's called, it's called the singular solution. So another solution is y equals zero. But um, yeah, just kind of a fun, simple problem. Good luck.